reported that George W. Bush recently traveled to Toronto uh, very quietly after a public event was canceled uh, due to protests over his presence. It was only later revealed that he had still gone to Toronto and attended a private event. That wasn't known to us, but it was known to the RCMP who were providing security. This week, uh, former Vice President Dick Cheney has been here in Vancouver and has been in Calgary. And this is not on any official business. He's here selling his book. It's been very publicized that he was in Canada and despite the calls of credible human rights organizations, there's been uh, no action on the part of the Canadian government. The case that we are putting in front of the Attorney General is uh, designed to remedy that situation and to present him with all the evidence that he needs and the legal arguments that he needs that we have put in the indictment. And this gives him a thorough basis for an investigation and a prosecution. One more point I would like to add is that the, the Government of Canada has also been very public lately in uh, taking seriously the issue of alleged human rights abusers being present in Canada. The Bush visit in October provides a perfect opportunity for the government to show exactly how serious they are and to put forward a prosecution of somebody um, who is responsible for torture and the Canadian government here has an opportunity to show that it can be a leading voice in bringing accountability in countries where accountability is not possible. The final point that I want to make is that in the letter to the Attorney General, we have indicated that if he does not take action, we are prepared to support survivors of torture at the hands of U.S. officials in uh, filing, laying in information for a private prosecution in Canadian courts. And we will support survivors of torture taking the case directly to the courts themselves. This is if the Canadian government does not take action in this matter, and we will obviously be monitoring their progress very closely. I just want to return finally to the obligation under the Convention Against Torture. This is a legal obligation that Canada will be under the minute that George W. Bush sets foot in Canada. They will be required to investigate and to prosecute the case. This is a legal requirement. But just as a, as a final note, um, we have an event tonight at 6.30 um, at UBC Robson Square in room 180, I believe. Uh, you're all welcome to attend, and, uh, and we hope that you will uh, let people know about that as well. Um, so I want to thank you again all for coming, and um, if you, I don't know if you have any final words before we take any questions. I think we can, we can open it for questions if anyone has questions.